Got some really good breaking news for you XRP Ripple Labs fans as the SEC has surrendered. Yes, really good news here and the market is reflecting it, specifically XRP up 4.3% right now sitting at 51.1. So what exactly happened? The US SEC drops the lawsuit against Ripple executives. Remember, they were going after Larson and Garlinghouse directly saying that those gentlemen knew knew that they were selling unregistered securities. That's a big no-no because how are you going to prove what they knew versus what they didn't know? That's a big no-no, like I said. So big relief here as Garlinghouse and Larson will not be dealing with the SEC on a personal level anymore. Now, I will caution a bunch of you out there as we still have primary sales that we have to deal with. And that's why, yes, the pump was almost 10%, but it has retraced. Check it out. Why? Because you have to be very careful about the news reported. This is only about Chris Larson and Brad Garlinghouse as individuals in this suit. Let's go to Stuart Alderati and keep the learning train going. And as always, any article you see in this video, along with all my other ones, will be linked in the description below. The SEC made a serious mistake going after Brad and Chris personally, and now they've capitulated, dismissing all the charges against our executives. This is not a settlement. This is a surrender. I completely agree with that. I completely agree with that. He also has the filing right here. You are welcome to check it out and give it a little bit of a read action. Voluntary dismissal. Christian Larson without cost pursuant to Rule 41A along with Brad Garlinghouse. Yep, there you go. And this was filed by the SEC. But now we have to start wondering, all right, what's going to happen price action here? Wise. Now remember, this is just for Larson and Garlinghouse. So I didn't expect too, too much like XRP oomph, but this is good news that XRP does have some life breathing into it. But like I said, be very careful about misreported data. We still have primary sales we have to deal with, which is going to be a big one because that's what stops Ripple IPO in the United States. It's also a big deal because we've been talking about it a lot on the live streams about what would happen to XRP price with an IPO, but that's not the time to talk about it. Now is the time to celebrate as the two executives were basically said, hey, look, you didn't think you were doing anything wrong because that's essentially what the SEC was alleging. If you're a fan of Ripple Labs and Brad Garlinghouse and the crew, then yes, this is a day for victory to celebrate, to pop the champagne. If you're an XRP holder, I just don't know how much steam this move is going to have. Not me being negative. I'm being just realistic with everyone here because I think a big problem is you're going to see news misrepresentation. It's not what you're getting on this channel. Stopped cooking dinner as soon as I saw the alerts and I was like, yo, viewers come first. Let's stop making the dinner. I'll get it done later. Get the video out to you. But good news today as Brad Garlinghouse and Chris Larson are not personally going to be in trouble for the SEC XRP unregistered securities actions. Thank you very much for watching this video regarding real breaking news. What am I doing today? Well, I already ran. I was cooking dinner, did a video for you, which put a big smile on my face. I'm going to go back to cooking dinner, stretch, relax, and have a great rest of your day.